And with the cool weekend here, some spent this morning trying to stay warm, but for around 80 people, it was time to bundle up and take to the trails. Channel 8's Jackson Wilford has more on today's run for the Bridges event and how it helps support the Wilderness Park. Saturday morning, freezing rain poured over Lincoln, making most of the city a slippery mess. But the weather didn't stop the runners from this year's Run for the Bridges event from taking to the Wilderness Park paths. The race is a celebration of Wilderness Park and proceeds go to maintaining the park's many bridges. Oh, uh, well, we've We've got three new bridges. We do. And we're getting more thanks to Parks and Recs and a lot of wonderful donors. We, we are always fundraising to replace bridges because sadly, they need repair or replacing. Pellini said that there is no such thing as bad weather, just bad clothing, a saying she's used in races before that had similar weather. Despite the wet weather, the races attracted a few first-time runners looking for a different kind of race. It is very different. I have never ran um, on a trail for a race. I've always just done road races, but this was a great experience. You know, the, the mud wasn't super slick. I thought the rain would be awful, but it's actually, you know, you know, you're running and you stay warm and there's good people here. At each stop, a group of volunteers cheered on the racers as they made their way to the finish line on a race that some people thought wouldn't happen. They showed they up. They showed up. They showed up they every year. Do. They always they do. show up. Every year. It's amazing. <laughs> we have fun. It's a family oriented yep. event. The weather may have been dreary, but the feeling of success when crossing the finish line was enough for the racers. Reporting in Lincoln, Jackson Wilford, Channel 8 News. And proceeds from today's race will go to repairs and upgrades to bridges around Wilderness Park.